messages the love messages for aquarius what do we got going on all right so i was doing a pre-shuffle nothing came out for the tarot but um we got some cards for um in this other deck in the uh astrology deck okay so let's get into it thank you god for blessing aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right so we got libra coming out and saturn so i don't know maybe around libra season you're going to see somebody mature or something will mature for you okay um wisdom you would have learned some lesson here also you'll know how to act or how to be or how to react there's complete transformation maybe somebody's going to change this could be for a hand few you know a handful of you not for everybody the particular person that you're looking forward to could actually change there could be some like some inner resolve um there could be a renewal a, a renewal clearing like, i don't know if this person had like some type of taboo type of energy situation happening with them and it could be that it was just a third party because at the bottom of this deck we now have opposition so, i can't even see it uh we now have opposition so something could be balancing out somebody could be leaving your person could be getting rid of a third party you could be doing this aquarius or there's something going on here where the ops is leaving somebody's leaving somebody this card wants to peek out the 11th house so that's your house aquarius friendship group i don't know you could meet somebody by way of um you know groups friendship creativity hanging around certain people certain groups that uh, offer networking opportunity and there you meet someone you may even join a group you may join dating um, a matchmaker online dating something of that nature uh, yeah what are the love messages for Aquarius what are the love messages for Aquarius Ooh. what are the love messages for Aquarius the strength card so you could be trying to um, hold back from someone resist the temptation you could even be asked out on a date I don't know if it's happening now or maybe during Libra season but it's gonna be different for everyone but you're definitely trying to hold back there's still a lot of mystery surrounding a particular person therefore you're keeping your distance could be a Leo it could be anyone you also could be pregnant there could be restriction with you what's going on for you right now is maybe a strong solid friend group because you're pregnant you know you don't have a lover or the lover is gone on or maybe the relationship is kind of strained there's opposition here maybe you could be a third party and you're the pregnant third party I don't know there's somebody here who's dealing with like somebody who was an entertainer whether it be you know they they dance on stage exotic dancer um some type of entertainer somebody has a lot of options here um and, and they were definitely pursuing all of them the strength card it's like you you're being wise enough to know that you need to resolve or you need to hold back or you need to reserve um there's some re inner you need to inner resolve or have some inner resolve within yourself but you definitely feel like you need to hold back even if this person comes back to you or you go back to them there still will be a natural holding back because there's still mystery surrounding the connection other people and opposition within this connection let's see what else is going on for Aquarius in love where are the love messages the Sun card Ooh, some of you definitely are pregnant some of you definitely are dealing with the Leo um so definitely a lot of abundance happiness i'm hearing like growth and cravings eating i don't know um you're just trying to be strong at this time you need to be strong it looks like you're alone or you could be alone or you're not getting the support that you thought you would get from uh maybe your better half or the the other half you know the, the father or the mother of if you're pregnant then it's of course a uh, father so yeah you got a lot of restriction cards you got now the hangman showing up 
So some of you are just really taking a step back. If you're not pregnant, then you're really taking a step back and you're seeing something. Come, something is coming to light for you. It's making sense to you now. You're getting enlightenment about a particular person. You get an enlightenment about a cycle, how it was a cycle, how it was going in a circle. It was going nowhere. There was no progression and you were allowing it. Some of you are trying to come to a place of releasing the ex, okay? Releasing the thoughts of the ex. Some of you are now, um, it's a lot of secret here and secret relationships, secret marriage, secret, secret pregnancy. Some of you are, um, you're, you're, making a sacrifice of this person even though it, it kills you while wow, the five of pentacles now showing up it kills you inside to let this person go maybe because there was a lot of love but there wasn't a lot of res regard a lot of respect yeah the will of fortune you could be changing your mind you could definitely be dealing with a pisces or a sagittarius or whomever you're letting something change naturally or you're changing your mind about you may even be changing your mind about maybe feeling used. Okay, you got what you got out of the situation. It didn't work out. Everything, everybody's not karmic. Maybe it just was a situation that wasn't supposed to work out. It's like you're looking at something reverse. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. You're realizing that maybe somebody was coming to you after leaving their relationship or coming to you while still in a relationship. It was playful. It was fun for them. It was the back and forth. It was the drama. It was a love affair. And it was stagnant. Four of Pentacles. Where it couldn't really go anywhere. Not where you wanted it to go. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Somebody could have just been looking towards you for sex. That's what they could give. That's what they wanted from you. The Moon card. Lots of cards of secrecy. They may have been keeping this a secret. Nine of Pentacles. They thought you were the perfect person to have as maybe a friends with benefits, sex only type of connection because you're nine of pentacles, you don't need much, you've got everything that you need, you're abundant, blah, 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 so forth. It, you know, you're not needy, it is what it is. They can come to you and then move on, move out of. There could be somebody here holding you back from your person if this is whom you want. Because the, the moon card is here with the queen of wands. So there could be another party in the middle of. I'm hearing no commingling. So maybe the universe doesn't want you to commingle with. They don't want you to commingle with um, opposing forces, opposing energy. There was somebody here who just wasn't able to make a full on commitment. Somebody loves, they love newness. So they like new relationships. They go out, they meet new people. It's new for a few weeks and then it gets old. They just have no type of chill in terms of seeing something through, manifesting longevity. They don't know how to do it. Somebody knows that the two of swords, that they were wrong or they were wrong for how they treated you or that they want to come back to you. They want to have reunion, reconciliation. But right now they've kind of put that down with the hermit card. This could be you. What are the other messages in love? So you and somebody are estranged. You're realizing that this person really couldn't give you what you wanted. It was a secret affair for some of you. You may have even felt used or uh, taken advantage of. Somebody could be trying to come back to you in that hierophant energy, like the status quo. You know what it is. You know what we used to do. You know how we used to get down. You know, we used to meet up over there at that Holiday Inn and, you know, whatever. It's like somebody wants it the way it used to be. They don't want change. What else is going on for Aquarius in love? I wish it's something good. Two of Pentacles coming out. Transition awareness so this is like you putting things together in your mind you're like okay now it makes sense in terms of when they said this and when they did that or when they came over or the six of wands that maybe somebody was stringing you along the three of swords that you need to choose yourself divorce this situation or maybe even divorce your person or there is a divorce happening with the two of swords you're really letting something go for it for now you've sharpened your words you've said your piece 
you're not going to um, have to self-sabotage and defeat this type of attitude or give in or cave in to somebody who is not willing to make the investment. The world card, it's like you're maturing now. You're understanding something that maybe you deserve so much more. You're letting something close out and go to the, another chapter, whether it's with this person or without. What else do we have here? Like timeline jumping. This could even be some of you getting married, moving on and finding the person that you're supposed to be with. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, definitely a lot of action, sex, Eight of Cups. So needing to walk away from somebody who wasn't ready to make a commitment, walk away from someone who was in and out, off and on, hot and cold, charismatic, the outgoing person, super boastful, never met a person that they could not charm. They charmed and disarmed you. You're walking away from it again, out of respect, self-respect, the eight of cups. So it's like, you didn't, you didn't get regard from this person. You didn't get respect. At least if they were going to look up to you just for sex or we were going to be friends with benefits, you can like respect me in terms of maybe, um, you can at least call, you can act, you can keep the relationship up. We don't have to be boyfriend and girlfriend, but you don't have to disregard me or disrespect me or ask me to do certain things I don't want to do or engage in activity I don't want to engage in or have sex here, there, or whatever. It's like you had to leave something because it was like you felt like you weren't getting, um, it, was, it wasn't returning anything back to you. It wasn't reciprocating. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you had to journey on here. You felt like nothing was changing. It was You were growing bored and tired of this. They would show up, want to have sex, want to have fun, and then leave. Text you here or there, and then leave. It just became, became boring. It also it came to a point where you felt like you were just giving more than the other person for whatever reason. You had the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So it looks like somebody was using, like, emotional manipulation seven of swords you know hiding like this is like gaslighting this is um the sweet nothings this is love bombing this is acting like you want a relationship when you know that you don't you know you want to be the lone wolf you know you want to go on you know you know you want to be a bachelor you know you're in and out but you're saying all of the right things. It's like someone wanted to keep you in love or keep you chasing or keep you as one of the people that they can kind of make a rotation towards. Um, it's like sometimes people say that the, um, the sex is better when you, know, when you love each other or when someone loves you. Maybe somebody wanted to keep that love aspect going from you because you know, it, it felt different. You know, the connection felt different when you were chasing. The Ace of Swords showing up with the Chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. If you're not, it's just like you got absolute clarity that you need to move on. You need to put more time, energy, effort, direction into yourself. You might even need to lose weight. You need to get in shape. You need to smash all of those short-term goals. You just really need to focus on you. The Chariot card is not the best card for love. This was either how somebody else came into the relationship where Okay, yeah, I am in and out. I'm going to get what I wanted and I'm leaving because I'm focused on me. I'm focused on maybe career, uh, short-term goal fulfillment, blah, blah, blah. Or this is what you need to do. You need to get in control of your emotions and your thoughts too because like your thoughts will tell you one thing and your emotions will tell you another. It's like you just, um, I don't know, right now you could be kind of scattered. The death card, you need to just take hold of the fact that it's ending or it has ended or it's done. It won't come back together unless there is complete transformation. But you did have Pluto come up. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or maybe somebody's going to take a deep dive into their emotions and really come to a place of understanding that they need to change. They need to change how they deal with other people. How they, they need to change how they deal with feminine energy the mother of or a child or you about to have complete change and you need to focus on that you can't keep focusing on this person coming back to you or showing up when they want to this is somebody from your past or someone you have a significant past with what they have not done is made a commitment to you they have not um, said what they were going to do what they they have not declared their intentions with you um, you shown up as a queen and they've shown up as two knights so this is somebody who you've had several false starts with 
um, no progression possibly. Yeah, no progression with. You're coming to absolute clarity that you're not going to get what you want. If not ever, not now. Let's see. You had a three of cups. You want to end this whole dating situation, lovers with the three of cups. There's also someone that came in between you and your person that maybe took the balance, the opposition. This is the opposition coming in between you and your person, them allowing it personally. But then also it took balance away from the connection. Now it's, it's a challenge between the two of you. It's a challenge to get back together. Somebody didn't choose the soulmate, twin flame, life partner, all that stuff. They didn't choose that journey. They just, maybe they chose this third party. Or they said, you know what, I'll just have both. Yeah, justice card. Someone did not do the right thing. But someone is realizing now, in order for them to move forward, they have to do the right thing by you, Aquarius. They either have to come and apologize to you. Karmic justice, they feel indebted to you. They feel like they need to do something for you, to you. They feel like they need to right the wrong here. Something was completely out of balance, out of whack. Um, they also may have gone out into the world and realized that it just don't get no better than you, Aquarius. You have the page of swords. They could be spying on you now. Um, there could be little to no communication. You could be the subject of gossip. Someone could be not wanting to talk to you or you not talk to them because it ends or it may even begin an argument. Somebody says, I just don't want to argue. Yeah, taking time apart, the hangman. Someone's really trying to release the X here. I'm trying to release the thoughts and the emotion of the X. I'm waiting for true enlightenment to move on. I'm waiting for true love, Ace of Cups. Um, I'm putting more love, energy, effort, time, spirituality back into myself. I'm really trying to move on from this. It's what somebody is trying to do here. Either you or the other person or it's mutual. The Three of Pentacles coming behind that with the page of one. It's like somebody does want you just for sex just for opportunity if somebody is the eternal bachelor who could be a covert narcissist who could be um just kind of detached from their emotions always acting in strategy also could be capricorn scorpio um libra it could be anybody what this relationship has been filled with is a lot of false starts what do you want to tell Aquarius? Okay, so this was just hanging out. Somebody's trying to save their marriage. Whether you're married to someone and they're trying to save it with you or you're trying to save the marriage. Even though you know that there's a third party or vice versa, someone's telling you I'm trying to save my marriage. Even though they're trying to keep you as a third party. Um, yeah, sex with friends. So somebody wants you like friends with benefits type of situation. And they'll make all kind of promises to you. Yep. And they'll say anything. They can't give you what you want, even if you, they, even if they were single. You make this person happy. They're loving, or you're loving, or you're loving. Oh, you're loving. Your loving makes them happy. They could be in fear of losing you or you finding out that they're hiding several secret affairs from you. You could even move out of the house, residential move, or you already moved, or you asked someone to move out, or you moved and this person doesn't know where you live and they want to reconcile with you. But you're comfortable how it is because this person treated you like a stepchild, like a step something. They didn't even, they put you second. There could have been no growth in this relationship. And how this person comes back to you is by sending you some type of sexting type picture. How they show their love for you is sexual. You're coming to a determination that it's all true. That it, it just could have been seduction. You were seduced by the idea of having a real relationship. And this person was all about just seduction. Yeah, I can't talk to you after 8 p.m. Sorry, this could be you. It could be the other person. It could be both of you for their own reason. Maybe they have somebody and yours is, I just don't want to deal with you. You know, God could have stepped in a supreme being over all morality. God could have stepped in and really enlightened you that somebody is all talk and no action. Okay. And somebody just is with you because you got a nice body. Uh, it was all about sex, opportunity, fun. And this is a person who's like in that energy of FOMO, fear of missing out. 
So they, they won't make a commitment because they're fear. If I make a commitment to you, I'm gonna miss out on that other girl or that other guy that could come around or it's very immature energy. Um, someone could be sick, ill. Be, they can't get over you. They can't get over the fact that maybe they fumbled the relationship. Oh, look at this. Yeah, some, so somebody is used to coming with the theatrics. Yep. Coming with the, the you know, putting on a show for you. So then you can say, oh, maybe they really do love me. They really do care. Yeah, they come in loud, loud mouth, you know, um, but hurt people hurt people. You need to let that sink in. Yeah, they could be missing you, you missing them. But guess what they are? They are extremely immature. This could be a masculine, whether it's a man or a woman, someone who's in their masculine energy. You or the other person say, I just can't and I don't take you serious. You just kind of just shrug it off. It's like you just, you know this person. You know what they're about. You just can't take it serious. There is a pregnant third party here. A house. Someone could want to be in a relationship with you or buy you a house. Someone wants to come out of boredom. Or they've come out of being bored in this relationship. But they're realizing that it's going to cost them just too much to leave. But yeah, somebody's trying to surprise you with a new life, a new house, a new home, a new car, a new baby, a big surprise. Or you, or you thought that someone would do this for you or maybe they, someone wants to. It all may fall together, fall in place. Or You still got somebody hiding. Um, we have to be careful. She almost found out about us or she found the text messages somebody's still lying because they feel like you're a door a doormat like you get you'll just allow anything and if it if it sounds like a lie it's probably a lie why is this person wanting to keep the Aquarius around weeks of no communication oh so they just ghosted you suspended but they'll be back yeah, they know that um, you'll allow them back quick fire. They'll be back maybe by way of Thanksgiving or by Thanksgiving. But right now they're not making any moves. Thanksgiving could be significant. It could be somebody's birthday or I don't know. It could be anything. But okay, so you got somebody wanting to come back to you because this is what they do. It's like they're saying, you know what it is. I'm in and out. I'm... I'll come back, um, I'll ghost you, but I will be back. Um, when, when people are doing that, it's because um, they have somebody else. Take all mixed messages as a no. No, they don't want you. No, they won't make a commitment. No, they don't love you for real. You don't have to even question it. Mixed messages, y'all love, no, okay, no. It means no, you don't want me. Okay, cool, I get it. it your life will be so much easier if you don't try to decipher mixed messages. They are what they are. It's a no. Altogether, no. Uh, let's get some closing messages for this love reading. Looks like somebody was definitely going to try to come back. A relationship from the past. Um, it looks like, yeah, maybe around Thanksgiving, Libra season. What are the, okay, we'll go here. Let's see. Um, love messages cl closing message for Aquarius closing message for Aquarius hold your vision Aquarius whatever you want whatever you say you want hold on to it because somebody could try to come back and manipulate you and try to take make you take on what they want for themselves like you know we used to have fun why why do you want to leave now where are you going you got somebody else like no i don't but i still don't want you um yeah, show the world the real you aquarius full moon in aquarius okay um bring love into the situation and show the world the real you um you may be holding back aquarius high vibing aquarius you're able to tolerate a lot so think about tolerate um that means that you can you have the capacity to deal with a lot. So it, when it's just capacity, um, 
when it's just capacity that means that okay so this vase here has the capacity to tolerate that much water once i fill it up it's gonna start flowing over right so you may deal with a lot of Aquarius and then you get to a breaking point. So what they're saying is show the world the real you stop holding back. Stop just tolerating negative treatment. Um, you know, bad behavior from other people, cut it off. When you see it, cut it off. Don't just tolerate it until you get to a capacity and then you combust and then you blow up. No, show the world, the real you, you don't tolerate it. You're not going to tolerate that. Let's see what else here. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So you find out what your North Node is. Step out of your comfort zone. Maybe you've been so comfortable in maybe low vibing situations. I don't know. Maybe you've been so comfortable in um, not getting what you want or feeling like your luck is shit, especially your luck in love. Like, no. Come step out of your comfort zone. Do something new. Go somewhere new. Change up your hair change up something you know do something different aquarius step out of your comfort zone um go out go out by yourself don't wait for other people to go with you your dreams need a practical plan in love okay so you need to be practical some of you again you want love you want a person you don't go nowhere you go home you go to the grocery store you go to home you go to work I don't know, are you going to marry the mailman or the mailwoman? Like, these are the only people who are really seeing you or who really are exposed to you. The Amazon person, like, I'm not opposed to it, but you need to step out of your comfort zone. You need a practical plan in regards to moving into that love that you really, really want, okay? So this would be, okay, well, I'm going to take myself out every Friday where there's just out to a local bar to get one drink or if you drink or get something to eat and um, you know who I meet is who I meet. If I don't meet anybody, guess what I did? I stepped out of my comfort zone. All right, let's see. The end of a tough cycle approaches Aquarius. Very nice. So the end of this tough cycle in love is really approaching for you. You got full moon in Capricorn. So maybe by December, um, something's going to happen for you. Maybe you'll meet somebody. If you take the advice of the card, step out of your comfort zone, come up with a practical plan. I'm going to take myself out. I'm going to join this group of singles that um, they go out, singles that mingle. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get on online dating. I will never. But um, show the world the real you. Emotions are running high right now. Super moon. There's something you need to release, though. I'm curious about emotions running high. What are, why are emotions running high for Aquarius? We've got energy of the past and the new like colliding. And it's like, okay, because you're about to meet somebody new who could bring you a lot of happiness, the sun card, fulfillment, contentment in your life. Okay, Aquarius, you don't see any of this coming. The two of swords, the knight of cups, Whoa. The Queen of Wands, you and the Moon card, and the Strength card. You don't see any of this coming. This might be a surprise by way of the universe. Right place, right timing. Emotions are running high. A tough end of a cycle. It kind of concludes for you. So what is this what is being offered here? What is Aquarius not seeing? Maybe you need to also let go of some emotions, you know, um, maybe that you have of a past person. You're hanging on to. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. This could be a same-sex relationship, too. The High Priestess with the Knight of Cups. You got a lot of women here. You need to join some group or being in some group of women, you can meet somebody. There could be a person that you're dealing with. What you don't see is they got a lot of different women. That's what they've been keeping from you, hiding from you. You've been on rotation. Something is going to be illuminated to you. On the high end of this, some of you can meet someone that could bring you a lot of fulfillment. You're both going to be in the energy of doing, 
or wanting to do. I don't know if you're going to be too cold to accept. You, whomever you meet, Aquarius, they may have other women, right? But it looks like if you're coming up as the high priestess, they see you as number one. Like you are, you're a threat to all the other women. This is what you don't know or what you don't see or what they're hiding from you or they're holding back. It says keep your composure when you meet this new person. Let them prove their love to you. Yeah, let them prove that they want something committed, long-term, stable. Don't just give your all. Okay, okay, about keeping your composure with the strength card. This is how you maintain your power. Let people earn your devotion. Let people earn your trust. Because there's still a veil around meeting new people. Especially for these same-sex relationships. Some of you feel like she's a woman. She wouldn't hurt me like a man would. I don't know where that's coming from. Some of you, you meet people and you just give in, you give everything too soon. So the cards are saying, hold back. I'm giving you some real practical advice. Hold back because you don't know this person. Let them prove to you their devotion. It'll be fun. It'll be nice. They'll be nice in the beginning. It's always like that in the beginning. Wait. That was, oh, that was when I got off camera to wait. Will of Fortune, you're definitely going to meet someone here with a Will of Fortune. So you're going to meet somebody, right place, right timing. This could be a soulmate. Destiny, fortune. But they still want you to hang back, hang on. Whomever this is, they got other options. They might reject these other options for you, but not if you give in too soon. You meet the person on Monday. By Friday, you're talking about, you know, I feel like I could marry you. And, you know, do you want my, my house key? Like, hold back. This could be the one, but you're going to need to hold back. Strategy. Also talks about putting yourself out there with the strength card. Some of you need to get out in the world. You need to release the ex here. Some of you just need to do that. I don't know. There also could be like comparison to the ex a lot. And then that sabotages. It, it just sabotages the relationship. Mm. you can meet somebody that can be husband or wife material oh then we had a wand the queen of wands well yep king and queen of wands there is somebody definitely running opposition And which is making the relationship between you and your person karmic. Got the moon again. Definitely somebody running opposition here. Where is it? I know it's some here. Yeah, there's the moon. Someone could know about you, Aquarius. And they could just be doing all kinds of like spells. Or this could be a karmic with your person and you kind of cut yourself out they could know about you and they're doing anything to hold on to this lover they came in between the two of you so this is now more past energy in the moon card they're doing a lot behind the scenes wow with the high priestess to keep you two apart If that is true, what should the Aquarius do? I don't. I feel like you should do nothing, but you know we're gonna go by way of the cards. Whoa, I flipped over. The Tower card, the Devil, woo, the Two of Wands. Eventually, all of a sudden, 
somebody's gonna see that somebody's toxic unhealthy karmic they've been doing spells holding this person back someone's gonna come ace of swords get absolute clarity about the fact that they need to end this relationship someone's gonna move on and put distance between and a boundary up in regards to someone looks like you don't have to do anything the universe does it for you I don't know if your person just wakes up and starts to compare the fact that understand that the grass is greener on the other side there's also like comparison going on and they realize without you in their life ace of swords that you're the one and then there could be reconciliation death card of this connection because somebody's gotten in control of their mental and their mind their emotions oh so your person could have been doing or this person that they're attached to is doing like spells on this person's mind and their emotions like scattering their emotions and scattering their thoughts it also could be like sexual magic like making someone think that they're in love or that they're the best choice by way of what they do in the bedroom we got somebody heavy in a strip club here or looking at nude women or somebody does something nude or somebody deals with strippers someone kept your person kept somebody from you but this person knew about you this other person knew about you and they were doing heavy magic to keep your person away from you or keep them from making a commitment to you and that's why you guys had all of these false starts between one another this person kept comparing you to somebody else feeling like they were gonna find either better or that they found better in the other person but there is no comparison and then they come to that determination like all of a sudden shit comes crashing down for this karmic partner who's extravagant and overspender materialistic they start to realize it don't get no better than the Aquarius yeah they, they start to be guided maybe my way of listening to their inner voice Guide, guided towards you know making amends see getting a way out an opportunity for a way out of maybe a low vibing type of clingy relationship where somebody's holding on for dear life could be an emperor then finally makes the move yeah makes the move in their life so we got a whole nother story there but yeah um Aquarius, I don't think you need to do anything. The universe is, is going to do the work for you. Hold your vision. Show the world the real you. Step out of your comfort zone. You need a practical plan, Aquarius. In love. Taurus is, um, what, Venus? So for some of you who do not want an ex-person back, you just need to be more practical about meeting other people. Options, you know, getting out there. And somebody's, the emotions are running high in some type of karmic situation where, where somebody was in direct opposition of you and was keeping you away from the person you're supposed to be with or you want to be with. The cards are telling you to look at the bigger picture here, Aquarius, because there's something you're missing. Let's see if we can kind of pick up what signs you're dealing with. one more shuffle what's whoa neptune dreams so pisces escapism somebody who didn't want to deal with reality okay so you could be dealing with pisces let's see you could be dealing with scorpio the animal somebody had an animalistic side somebody is heavy like into all things dark all things adverse to good I don't know this could be I'm getting like strip club vibes I don't know why the 11th house could be dealing with another Aquarius or a friend um, or a group of people or someone that wanted to keep you as like friends with benefits Aries came out dealing with an Aries or you have it in your chart Pisces Scorpio Aquarius Aries 10th house Capricorn Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Whom else? Leo wanted to 
fly out of the deck. In the fourth house, maybe cancer. So, you definitely, 10, 11, something's about to manifest for you, something big in love. This is a love reading, so something big is about to manifest for you, Aquarius. You're about to get some big wish dream fulfilled here. Somebody's going through a deep soul change. And it could be, you know, going that God-like awakening. Awakening to their God-like quality. What is changing for the Aquarius? What is happening for Aquarius? I'm so nosy. Um, what's this big change for Aquarius? Someone's going to come and communicate something to you. Something's happening fast. Mercury here. The winged messenger. Luck is on your side in love. Nothing is yet set in stone. So we know that we've got this person here who's still it wrapped up in like a karmic type of relationship or lifestyle. Um, nothing is yet set in stone, but they want you to know that confidence is key. Be confident in yourself. Be Confidence is synonymous with knowledge. Know that this is your person. Know that you're going to get a person, that you're going to be married. Look at the bigger picture again. I don't know if some of you just really pressing down on the details and on the situation as it is right now. They want you to look at the bigger picture here. Luck is on your side. Something happened around Sagittarius time. You got two Sag cards. Work through your fears. I don't know if you, I heard giving birth around Sagittarius time. I don't know. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable, mutable signs, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. All of those signs could be significant in terms of maybe when you'll meet someone new, maybe when your person will come back. Don't know. This is what I have for you. Thank you for being here. If you want to get your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40OFF at checkout. Um, what else? I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I'm going to be live tonight. Monday night because I was not live yesterday, Sunday night. So come check me out live. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.